This channel is proudly sponsored by Dead Tree Studios, the developers and publishers of Dames of Astoria, a tabletop RPG where you play as monster girls, experiencing high adventure in a world that doesn't fully accept them. Please check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Daisy Chainsaw. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this savage, bloody, magical girl tabletop RPG, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about some of the weapons that you can wield, starting with the baseball bat. You have traits such as batting average. Every time you inflict enough harm to kill an enemy, gain a number of dice equal to your power level to your next attack against another target. You have quirks such as barbed wire. For all of you Negan fans, your bat is wrapped in barbed wire and it eviscerates anyone it hits. Your dice explode on ones and twos when you make a basic attack. You also have other features such as rub some dirt on it, quickly tend to your wounds with whatever's around, heal yourself for all harm you took in the past round. Then we have the brass knuckles with traits such as combo. Each successful basic attack with brass knuckles adds a stack of combo which grants plus one primary to all attacks for each stack. You may have a number of stacks equal to your power level. Combo stacks reset to zero when you suffer harm or miss an attack. This is a status effect. You have quirks such as Daisy Dukes. You don't fight, you fight beautifully. Your attacks bewitch a different adjacent enemy for one turn per combo. You also have other features such as C -c 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 Combo Breaker. After a successful attack, you may expand all of your combo stacks to multiply your successful hits and the resulting harm done by the stacks spent. Then we have the Chainsaw, a personal favorite. Your trait is Dismember. Certain abilities can dismember an opponent, permanently crushing one of their body parts, limbs, tentacles or otherwise. Any ability that crushes a body part will instead dismember. You have quirks such as Lumberjack. You've used your chainsaw before you were a main character. Whenever you dismember, you may make an attack. You also have other features such as Hedge Trimmer. You work fast with your chainsaw, cutting the enemy up as if they were the branches of a tree. A successful attack dismembers a number of limbs equal to your secondary. If you dismember all limbs, they die. Then we have the gun, of course, with traits such as ranged. Gun has a range equal to double your charm. You have quirks such as machine gun. Your spell attacks and basic attacks have a range equal to twice your charm and your hits may be spread among a number of targets equal to your power level. You have other features such as an even bigger fucking gun. Your gun grows six sizes this day. All successful attacks, spell attacks and abilities have a burst radius equal to charm for three rounds. Increase their range by charm and apply the effects of the ricochet ability. Then we have the hat. With traits such as familiar, you craft, summon, conjure or befriend a familiar who may act on your turn and who uses your actions. You have quirks such as helmet. You may use abilities through your weapon as if you were there, but you may only make basic attacks when you're not holding it. A sentient weapon is able to move separately from the main character. And you have other features such as Tentacle Tantrum. You pull off your hat, revealing the shadow grasp of a monster that resides within it. It grabs and throws all targets at random within Burst of Charm. Allies and bosses that fail their save are thrown a distance equal to your primary. All others are thrown into a nearby wall or building, inflicting harm equal to your secondary. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about the five remaining weapons in this list. These weapons are so fun to use, just look at them. They all have some crazy over the top features. They act in very unexpected ways and they allow you to customize your character according to your crazy magical girl character concept. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. 
If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or Drive-Thru RPG, the information will be in the description below. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment below. And remember, in tabletop RPGs, it's not about what you want your characters to do, it's about what your characters are doing. Once again, thank you and see you later.